Hi folks, welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. The purpose of this video is to uh, give an example of how to calculate a Taylor series. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the function x e to the x and we're going to try to uh, calculate the Taylor series for it. So um, what we're actually going to do is calculate this Taylor series at x equals 0, which basically then makes it uh, what's called the Maclaurin series. Now the Taylor series formula looks like this, you know, Taylor series is a function of x is f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a to the first plus f double prime at a times x minus a sec, uh, squared over 2 factorial plus blah 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 blah. Alright, so you need a bunch of derivatives to typically uh, do this. Now it doesn't say how many terms to uh, do here, so I'm just going to calculate maybe four terms. So I'm going to calculate some derivatives here first. So here's f. So f prime is going to be, and we have to product rule this, derivative of the first times the second is going to be e to the x plus the derivative of the second times the first is going to be x e to the x. <clears throat> right? Second derivative, as we differentiate this, this is going to be e to the x plus, this has to be product ruled, derivative of the first times the second plus derivative of the second times the first. And let's see, we can uh, add these together to uh, 2 e to the x plus x e to the x, right? Third derivative, and I guess I'll differentiate this. That's going to be 2 e to the x plus, this has to be product rule, derivative of the first times the second, plus the derivative of the second times the first. And that's going to be 3 e to the x uh, plus x e to the x. And obviously the next one, I'm sure the fourth one here, is going to be 4 e to the x plus x e to the x, etc. So now I'm going to go ahead and write out the Taylor series approximation here. So our Taylor series at x equals 0 is going to be, all right, f of 0. So I'm looking at f, uh, 0 times e to the 0 is 0, plus f prime at 0. So here's my f prime. Putting a zero here, here, and here is going to give me just one out of that times x, and again the a is zero, plus f double prime at zero. So I take a look at this and I put zeros in. This is gone because of this. e to the zero is one, so that's going to be two times x squared over two factorial, which is two. Next term is going to be f triple prime of 0 times x minus 0 cubed over 3 factorial. So that's going to be, I'm looking here to f triple prime. We put a 0 here, here, and here. We get just 3 out of that. x cubed over 3 factorial. Next term is going to be f quadruple prime. That's going to give me a 4. And again, because that term will be 0. x to the 4th power over 4 factorial. At this point, I usually just go dot, 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 or put etc. or something like this, because this just goes on uh, forever. We can clean it up a little bit, maybe. So our Taylor series approximation is going to be equal to x, plus this term is going to be x squared, plus this term, 3 factorial, 3 over 3 factorial, still going to leave us with a 2 in the bottom. So that's going to be x to the 3rd over 2. And this is going to give us a, let's see, x to the fourth over, <clears throat> all right, so 4 over 4 factorial. 4 factorial, remember, is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So the 3, 2 times 1, that's going to still survive. So that's going to give us over 6 plus, and I'm just going to put et cetera for the rest of it. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4 terms of my Taylor series written out. So uh, I hope this uh, helps demonstrate how to uh, calculate a Taylor series approximation to a function. Have a great day.